May profits be upon you. How are you doing? I'm hoping that your trading week last week was a good one. Uh, I believe that the trading week this week will be a good one. There will be some opportunities. And um, I want to make sure that uh, you understand that it may be a little tricky. It may be a little tricky. Uh, because uh, there's no definitive, you know, like a definite uh, 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 trend in some of these markets, particularly the more important markets like the U.S. dollar. All right, let's talk about this Dixie for a second. All right, I want you to see that, yeah, uh, it's been pretty bearish, right? And uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, uh, we're talking about on the, the 2nd of February, we saw uh, the market rally, and then we saw it go sideways. And then Thursday, Friday, no, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we saw last week that we finally got a breakout of this particular range here. And you can see this these low points, these lows, lows here, lows here, the high here, where this level at 103.6060 is a key level because it was once support and then turns resistance and then again resistance price fights its way back up to this level and then we finally get a break out of it all right i said i hesitated on wednesday thursday because on wednesday we had a close right at the major breakout level of 2017 that's all the way over here all right all right price hasn't gone that high uh even with the covid highs it didn't reach that high right and then finally we we had a breakthrough right around uh uh May of 2022, right? Last year. And then price comes back and then it goes above and beyond it, hits, comes back and retests it, right? As support, finds that support and then goes ahead on a remarkable rally. Now we come in for a landing, right? It hesitated, it hesitated, it hesitated, and it finally broke through, finding that support again, but then retesting it as, uh, as a resistance and then resistance here. But what I want you to notice is that here, there is a, 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 a supply zone, right? That price is reacting from, all right? And that supply zone, you can see, it is the extreme of a four hour supply, all right? Price goes up in there, ups here, ups here, did not close past that high, right? Creates this big old doji here, but uh, uh, price is respecting that weekly supply zone. What does this all mean? If we go back to where I had it here, you'll see that uh, in the uh, the four hour on the four hour, four hour zone, uh, I'm not sure why. I just don't know. Hold on, let me uh, backtrack this way. All right, there it is. If we go to the four hour. You can see that this is the extreme. There's a fair, a fair value gap that price has found its way to. All right, and reacted to. Look at that. Look at that drop from that reaction to the fair value gap. Let me stretch this all the way over here so you can see, came in contact with that fair value gap and then fell. Do I think it's gonna fall further? It could, all right? But I believe fair value gaps like uh, other price gaps uh, and voids, they get filled, all right? And I don't think the price went through the trouble <laughs> of trying to, uh, 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 Break through this uh this this major breakout level of 2017, coming into contact with it multiple times and finally breaking through, just to smash back down to the uh, uh the nether regions, right? So what I want you to see, what I what I'm thinking of for next week is that we we may see some strength come into the markets. And why would we see that strength come into the markets? Well, let's look at this calendar. All right. On Monday, we're not going to worry about anything because we're going to have uh, the markets are going to be closed in the U.S. President's Day and all. 
and uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of movement uh, if the U.S. brings a close, all right? We had the RBA meetings later on that evening at 8.30 p.m., all right? The Royal, the the um, uh, the Bank of Australia, excuse me, uh, uh, the, the, you, the, we'll see what, what they come up with uh, as far as their uh, interest rates are concerned, okay? All right, and then we have uh, uh, FOMC on Wednesday. That's a big deal. Why is that a big deal? Because uh, we've seen some evidence that inflation is still kind of hot, all right? It's, it's not cooling off like we thought it was, and that's given the uh, uh, Fed a uh, reason to think maybe we ought to uh, keep these hikes going and that uh, uh, pulling back may be too soon. And we may be, it, it, the, the change policies right now might be because of the evidence of the uh, the, new, the the numbers that came out last week in regards to uh, jobs and, and whatnot. And uh, um, uh, that that CPI data, hey, the, we, the, we may see another hike coming. We may see 25, maybe higher, maybe a 50% base, a uh, 50 basis point hike, 25 to 50 basis point. That either one is going to add some strength to the US dollar. It may, uh, cause a risk off environment to ensue. So we would see uh, the US dollar make some gains, but we may see it go sideways up until that point. I hope everybody understands the point I'm making here. Now, uh, later on in the week, you're also going to see core PCE. That's a very important, uh, 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 that's very important data to the Fed. All right. In regards to uh, policy. All right. So, uh, uh, so what am I what am I going to be careful of? There is a a uh let me get this. There is a a nice looking uh uh daily trend line going up. All right, that's a daily trend line, and uh it happens also on the uh the four hour. All right, you can see that price finally had a very nice rally getting past all of this consolidation here and we come back to we tested we come back we tested and finally broke up to the upside right all right holding on establishing this four hour uh this uh daily trend line all right to the upside so if price does come back down here and i fear that it may because that was a very bearish kind of close on a uh, friday uh we had a little momentum coming down we may see it come down here and which is the uh, this zone between the uh, 2017 major breakout and this uh, key level? I'm thinking that uh, we may it, price may find support here and continue higher, filling in that that gap, the fair value gap, and mitigating the higher time frame uh, supply zone. So. I'm looking for bullish, but we're going to be reactive, man. We're going to be reactive because we don't know how that news is going to come in. If we see a daily break, a daily candle body break below that low, all right, at 103.60, if we get below this uh, with a, a, a candle body break and close below that low, you know, if the candle looks like so, all right, you can bet that we're coming down to retest this uh, this area here. All right, right around uh, 102.6. All right, 102.60. All right, so I want you to be wary of that. Uh, if I can just get this thing to come back. All right. All right, so uh, that line is something I'm definitely going to watch. We may see the bounce here. All right, because you can actually see uh, uh, price had these interactions here for as, as resistance, and then we finally get past it, retest it again, finally get past it, retest, retest. This may, we may find, uh, price may find its, its support here and continue higher. And that, and I would be looking at that high, all right? I would be looking at that high, and that high is at uh, 104.65, 104 104.65, right? 104.66. All right, and uh, so we'll see how the week goes. All right, uh, with a with a with a uh, 
a not so strong but getting stronger kind of a, a situation here with the U.S. dollar. We have to we have to be more reactive than we should be uh, predictive. Okay, so I'm looking at this this line here, and we'll see if we can get price to hold. If price breaks with the candle body break and close below that low. A daily break and close below that low. Hey, okay? you know, look out, look out. Uh, price is probably going to be heading down to these lows, these highs. You understand? All right. So with that in mind, let's go on to the Euro USD. All right. In the Euro USD, I have two levels here. I got a major breakout level. And why do I call it a major breakout level? Because you can see that right at, this was a COVID low. This was the COVID low. And once price broke past there, you know, it was all downhill, right? Price comes back up and we power through. We power through. We come back and retest. Retest. And we finally get higher, mitigate this higher time frame supply zone here. All right. And it reacted the way it was supposed to react. Down. Breaking market structure to the downside. All right. Now, where are we now? There is another level here, another key level. As you can see, price has found support there before. Come back, test, and then get above it. All right, finding support there. Resistance, resistance, right? This is a key level, all right? I like this low, but I think it's weak. I think it may be weak, all right? Why? All right, uh, because uh, price is coming for it. All right, it's 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 anchoring a demand zone, a daily demand zone, in the face of a weekly supply zone. We the higher time frames outweigh the and, and overpower tend to overpower the the lower time frames. All right, so I'm looking at pr price reacting to the zone right you know, as of last week. And I want you to uh, be mindful of something. You see this, we've gotten below this little trend, this little trend here, all right? And uh, uh, with, with pr price breaking below it, you had to watch out for uh, getting too jumpy because you might think I should have took my long here, all right? Uh, you know, again, you're faced with a, four, a a weekly supply zone. So what am I looking for this week? I'm looking for price to continue down. I'm looking for price to break below. Give me a candle body break and close below these lows. If I get a candle body break and, break and close below these lows, I'm thinking price will work its way further down to this level here, which is 1.0480, all right? You know, I like my, uh, my, uh, those whole numbers. You know, I like my whole numbers. All right. That's double zero. That's, uh, uh, 20, 80 and 50. Yeah, that's right. I said it out of order. 20, 50, 80 and zero, zero. Okay. So you, I, I tend to be mindful of those numbers. I don't, you know, put a whole lot of, uh, I don't lean on them a whole lot, but uh, something I, I I tend to mention. All right, so what are we looking at now? We see that price had a little problem get getting up. Finally, we mitigate the higher time frame zone. We break market structure to the downside, breaking below the uh, major breakout level. It comes back to retest that breakout level, and we did go a little further down. All right, we are breaking this trend line. I'm looking for price to give me another confirmation that it's heading to the downside. So I'm looking for a candle body break and close below that low. All right, if we get a candle body, we, we get a candle body break and close above these highs, just, just know that we're coming back to test this major breakout level. Just like we see the test here, we see the test here. Okay, and uh, if we get a break, a candle body break and close, we'll probably be coming up to the head. This is really 
a return to impulse. All right, and I'll be looking for a short here. I'm I'm interested in shorts, even though this is clearly an uptrend. All right, an uptrend on the daily. All right, it's clearly a, an uptrend, but we have broken market structure to the downside. This is giving me pause. This is giving me a uh, reason to uh, think that uh, there's a shift in the market from bullish to bearish. All right, we break here. This is a key level for me. If we break here, we get a candle body break and close down here. I'm looking for that pullback for a very strong entry to, to short, but that's coming down later. That's that's a little later. All right. Right now, I'm looking at here, looking at here, and we broke two short-term lows, and we've tested this a number of times. Price could come back up in here just to sweep this high, come into this fair value gap. And then come on down. And that's, uh, I'm looking for a good play to the downside. Is there a play to the upside? Sure, there is. All right. I'm not interested in taking it. All right. But uh, for those who day trade, and uh, uh, just be careful. All right. If you want to take your buys from here, be careful. We're on the underside of a trend line here, as you can see. All right. So I don't recommend taking shorts from current price action. All right. Let it let it come up here, and when I get a fifteen minute uh, confirmation, I would take a short. All right, that's where I'm at. All right, uh, uh, and bear in mind this is up against the U.S. dollar. So if U.S. the U.S. dollar come FOMC, all right, uh, and we start to see evidence that price is uh, can't get past this high, and we're coming up and testing. I, I circled the wrong thing. Come up and testing these lows here at this major breakout level. This is the time to take short, and I'll be looking for a short to take, all right? If we get that break, if, uh, the candle body break and close above these highs, then I think we're going to be coming up here to attack that, uh, uh, you know, as a as a return to impulse, that, that we should be looking for shorts up there. That's my opinion, all right? That's my viewpoint. Let's look at the euro uh, pound. I haven't given one of these in a long time, right? All right. What I want you to see is uh, if we back out, we can see that there is a trend line to the upside. And we can see also that price did reach up here, but had a big old rejection, big old rejection down, right? Price comes down, we hit the, hit the bottom of the trend line once again, and then we rally up, rally up with higher highs and higher lows, and here we are today. I like that, all right? Let's take a closer look at this. Now, what, I, what I'm illustrating here is one, there was a, come on, man, who does that? All right. What I'm illustrating here is that you see how price uh, has this market area here, it has this uh, market is trying to reach higher, trying to reach higher. We reach that market higher and then we break uh, that low. All right. Boom. With some momentum, right? react to this demand zone here, and then we have a break to the upside. So I have a strong low here. This is a strong low. Why? Because once it was retested, it broke market structure to the upside. So when price pulls back down for the return to impulse, I'm looking for this to hold. And what does it do? It holds. Creates a, a beautiful uh, uh, bullish engulfer. Price moves up. All right, Friday, we get this bearish candle. All right, so I'm looking for a correction. I'm looking for a correction right now. All right, this, all of this is correction. All of that is correction to this impulse. All right, and we corrected. We can still see some downside action. Now, why do I think we may see some downside action? Because there is a fair value gap here. All right, between this low and this high price could come definitely come down follow following that uh that friday close we can see some um further a uh, further push to the downside not a big push but enough to fill or get into this gap area all right and uh price could come on down here find its support and then pop to the upside let's take a look at the four hour Now, what I want you to see is 
we have a fair value gap here, right? Between that low and that 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 high and this low. All right. So if we who does that? If we stretch it all the way over, we can see that uh price has yet to trade into it. And we are heading in that direction. All right, that's one thing. We also have uh, relative equal lows. This is a magnet, a magnet for a uh, price and the market makers who want to take people who took longs here and their, short, their start, stop losses are below that low to come and take them out of their trades. Pulls them back, takes them out of their trades. All right. We could fill in this, uh, this, this price gap here, this fair value gap. All right. This imbalanced this imbalanced move, we can fill that imbalanced move here by mitigating this demand zone, which is unmitigated to this point, and price could find a, a bullishness of, from here. We can see a rally happening from here. So what I'm going to watch next week is, are we going to get that close down here? Are we going to get that close? If you want to take a short from here, you can. It's tradable. Do it. Uh, just take day trades, 15 minutes and lower. Of course. All right. But this is the trade I'm looking for. I'm looking for a 15 minute confirmation here and then take that all the way up. I know you can't tell by all that squiggly lines because my mouse pad is moving with me. I don't know why. But if we come down here, we can come down. We That's what I would be looking for. All right. I want to change the color on that because it's driving me a little crazy right now. All right. Here we go. All right. So. Can I. It's still black. It's still uh, orange. Excuse me. All right. Thank you. Now, so this is where I'm looking at. Look, look for this level at 0 0.88484. 0 0.88484. Uh, once it breaks, once price breaks these lows and comes into this fair, fair value gap, it doesn't have to come all the way down here. It would just be great if it did, all right? Because this is a, a, a very nice daily zone of demand, okay? All right, but the, the, the key is it's coming into the gap, all right? And uh, once it comes into this gap, you can start looking for your buy setups. You understand? Make sure it's a valid buy setups. Let's go to the pound USD. Pound USD. If I go back to the daily, of course, all right? Another USD pair, all right? What do I like about this? One, it's kind of clear that we don't have a lot of strength in this market. You can see that uh, there was a very nice rally up that ended on uh, in December, right? Price pulled back in correction of this, this bullish move, pulled back in correction, uh, made another thrust, thinking that this may turn out to be a lower high. I mean, a higher low, excuse me, a higher low, because all we have is higher, 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 low, higher, 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 low, higher, high, right? That's what we're looking, that's what we look for. All right, look at this, look at that, all right? So, uh, 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 but it turns out, it turns out that price just goes high enough to sweep that high, all right? Is this a strong low or a strong high? Well, it's part of, uh, these closes and these closes are along a, uh, a trend line and the trend line was broken and we're trading below that trend line. Price tried to pull back to it to retest the, the low of that trend line, you know, the, the the resistance side of it. Couldn't even make. All right. And then we break this low, right? Break this low with a wick break, but uh, it's not a break and close just yet. But this low this low isn't as strong as it appears. I like to see a candle body break and close when it comes to establishing direction and bias in a market. All right. And, and uh, we didn't get that here. We have a wick high. That means the liquidity was taken. The, li the liquidity was taken from this side. People stop losses who are uh, taking shorts. That's all that happened here. All right. Uh, so when prices heading down, fails to make a new high here and then comes down even further, I'm thinking this low is going to be attacked along with this low. All right. And we are at, see that, that, that red dotted line? We are at an area, which is a key level because it's been acting as support, acting as support, acting as support, even here. All right. And we got this 
uh, the way it closed on Friday was a uh, a nice pin bar at the point of mitigation mitigating this uh, this daily zone of supply uh, demand just like this one. This is a chain, two chains. All right, not the wrapper. Two chains. All right, uh, of demand that led to another demand zone. All right, prices coming back down into it. So, so what does it mean? All right, I think we price will be coming down. All right, yes, we have a pin bar, and I believe price could go up and test this supply zone up here. All right, we can test that that supply zone if. The momentum carries from Friday's close. I don't like Friday close for signals. I don't like Friday's close for signals, all right? Especially when it comes to reversals, all right? But, you know, you take them with a grain of salt because of the lack of volume on Fridays because guys take, you know, a lot of big, big, uh, big boys, all right? The, the firms, the institutions, some of them take Fridays off. And leave uh, the the volume at a lower at a lower rate than say Tuesday through Wednesday, uh, through Tuesday through uh, Thursday. In either case, uh, I think price has a chance to come up here and mitigate this unmitigated zone, fill in this uh, fair value gap, and then come back down, especially around um, uh, FOMC. All right, so. This, this is, you're going to be very careful. And again, I can't stress it enough. You want to be reactive with the U.S. dollar, especially with U.S. dollars, U.S. dollar pairs. All right. So I'm going to erase this strong low and put it as a weak, a weak low because it didn't give me a candle body break and close above that high. I'm looking for a new high, a, a, a strong, convincing high, not a technical break of that high. All right. So I think uh, there's a chance price could come down and take that low. If we see a close, a candle body break and close below that low, if price fills in that, that wick and give me a candle body break and close below this low of 1.1911, all right, uh, 1.19. 1.19, if we get a candle body break and close below this low, uh, I believe that uh, price will be heading down further, as is evidenced by this uh, the break of the trend line and this uh, supply zone holding here. If we get it tested, this is going to be the, the great place, a great place to take a short, in my opinion. All right. That's why I got these arrows here. Look at the four hours so you can get a good snapshot of what I'm thinking, all right? The price does make it up here. I'm looking looking for a good setup from here. There is another four hour short, a four hour short, which we're already in right now, all right? We don't know if this is gonna hold. Price may wanna sweep that those highs and go, go into the gap, all right? The fair value gap here, all right? We don't know, we don't know. You wanna be reactive. Wait for a 15 minute. Again, I always say, wait for a 15 minute confirmation. All right, we may get a fifteen. We may get a fifteen minute confirmation around here. All right, and if we do, that would be a signal to take a short. All right, but if pr price gives us a, a a daily candle body break and close above those highs, we're going to mitigate up here, and we'll see. We'll look for our short uh, short um, setup up there. Got it. Easy. All right, let's move to uh, pound Swiss. I haven't done pound Swiss in quite a bit as well, but I like pound Swiss. Why? Because the pound is weak right now and the Swiss is actually starting to turn around and gain a little strength. All right, so what I want you to see, what do I want you to see here? If I can get this out of here. All right, why is this, why do I have this, this low uh, label as a weak low? Because it didn't create a new high. It didn't break that high. If it doesn't create a new high, that means it's going to be targeted for liquidity. You understand? It becomes a liquidity target. Now, what, what I want you to notice is that there was some structure here. A high high was made. We have a change of character oh, once it broke past this high. All right. Price pulled back for the return to impulse. All right. 
and then continued higher, breaking that high. So we have a high, a higher high, and a higher high, right? Which is cool, all right? Price does return, all right? This is, uh, uh, we got some correction going on here after this impulsive looking uh, uh, move to the upside, all right? Price comes back down, find support here at the demand zone, all right? Find all these buyers here, boom. But it doesn't break a new high. And what does it do? What does it do? It comes back to that, that low, gives a reaction here, all right? But each reaction is lower than the last, lower highs, all right? And we are attacking this strong low here, all right? And this is the latest attack. This one, this one is all, we're all up into this, this one right now, all right? This, this one was taken, swept, and we have this bearish close here, all right? Look at look at how price ended uh, last week. So what what am I thinking for this week? Clean that up a little bit. Thank you very much. All right. What am I thinking? All right. I'm thinking Swiss is gaining strength against a weaker pound. This is that simple. And I believe that's going to continue. And I believe that if we recognize that there is a very nice looking bearish uh, engulfer here. All right. But there is a lack of uh, of follow through. We don't see the bearish candles after that. That's eight hours of candles there, all right? And we didn't see uh, it uh, continue that bearish move, all right? I'm looking for price to quite possibly come up into this, this uh, bearish engulfer, all right? This zone that is creating, all right? And continue bearishly, all right, into this demand zone, all right? Yes, we had a, a mitigation here, all right? And price should mitigate towards the middle of this zone, all right? That's where I'm looking, all right? But we need to, we need confirmation for a short. So what do I want you to do? I want you to be careful. <laughs> Don't just jump into anything. Don't just start to take shorts from here, all right? You could, but it would be uh, a, a bit risky. For me, I would wait. Let's look at the four hour. All right. We're at the low of this of that uh, of that zone where it's being created. All right. Price could come up here. You see the, this line? You see this line up here? All right. All this is signs. All right. If price comes back up here, I think this is the zone, this supply. The supply and it's wrong color. All right, let's make that the right color. If supply comes up in here, if um the price comes up in there, I think we're going to have a bearish reaction to come down lower. Now there's a, a fair value gap up here, and price could turn right around as it as it comes up into that fair value gap. Let me clean this up. Price could come up in that fair value gap and turn around. Doesn't have to go all the way up here. All right, it does not. All right, there's no law that says it has to come up in there. But if we go to the eight hour, let me take a peek. And we can see that price camp comes down and then flushes hard. All right, I'm thinking that we're going to see a bear flag. All right, I'm thinking that we're going to be, be corrective here and then shoot down. So look for, I'm looking for a confirmation on the 15 minute for a short to take. All right. And where would I be taking that short down to? Past these lows, past this, past that low into the middle of this zone, which is right around uh, one point. Hold on. Yeah. Look forward to come down to one point one thousand. All right. One point one thousand. And, and you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, if I, if I'm in a short, I'm, I'm not going to take it past there. Honestly, I'm going to uh, I want to TP there. OK. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If it does, make sure I hear from you because I like to hear from my uh, my viewers. Let's go to the next one. Pound yen, pound yen. I think this one is interesting because I've been watching it a while. You see this fair value gap here? It hasn't been filled yet. And it's been a long while since it's 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 it, 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 since it was formed that it has not been filled. All right. So what am, what am I thinking? Price, as you can see, if I go to the to the daily price, as you can see, 
It's moved sideways. All right. It's been ranging. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Price has been ranging, as you can see. Down. All right. Hitting this low. All right. Comes up, comes up. And then it doesn't come back down here. It respects the demand zone that was formed here. I think that's very interesting. Let me bring that back. I think that's very interesting. So I'm going to mark that demand zone, right? I think it's it behooves us to mark this demand zone. Just understand that we're in a range, folks. We are in a range, and this is the top of the range. This is the bottom of the range, all right? And you want to take buys from here and sells from here, right? I mean, that's how you range play if, if that's the type of trader that you are, all right? Price comes down and forms this floor here, a floor of support, all right? Goes back up to the top of the range. And then we have two days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, of uh, bearishness, a little bullishness Friday, and then... Uh, uh, that's where we, we're leaving it, but we have a lot of liquidity up here. Yes, we took the liquidity from that top, but we did not from that top, and there's a fair value gap that uh, is waiting to be filled here. Right? So uh, I think, I, I, I truly believe that the yen is weak and weakening against an, uh, a, a weak pound, but I think uh, uh, the pound is stronger <laughs> as far as weak weak uh, uh, currencies goes, uh, I think the uh, pound is just a tad bit uh, uh, stronger and the yen is slipping even further into uh, weakness, in, in my opinion, all right? So uh, I want you to be careful with this one. Uh, this isn't the greatest of uh, setups, all right? I would tell you, this is the area you wanna take your long from, all right? Once it hits this demand zone, all right? Uh, can you take a short from here? Sure, you can. I wouldn't. I, I'm not. But uh, that's the kind of trader you are. Take a day trade and don't trade higher than the 15 minute. You trade it on the five and one minute. And you'll catch plenty of opportunities as it fills that uh, fair value gap here. But this is the area I would want to take. Uh, I, I'd be looking for a long. You understand? So uh, some things have to happen for that to happen. All right. Some things fundamentally you want to see some fundamental things go in your favor and. Um, uh, uh, the pound and against the yen, th this isn't, it, it should not, it's not on my highest recommend list. It's on my watch list. All right. It's on my watch list, but it's not on my highest recommend list uh, uh, because it's rangy. We're at the top and uh, maybe uh, taking the short from here might, might work out for you pretty well. But if it comes down here, uh, I'm looking for, uh, for price to uh, give me a reason to take a, a long trade and I have a, an alert already set there. Let's look at USD JPY. This one I like a little bit better because it's against the US dollar that may find its strength against uh, already weakening yen. I think uh, uh, this is a bullish scenario. You can see how well defined it's stair stepped all the way down inside of this uh, channel. All right. And this bearish channel is equidistant from uh, top to bottom, and uh, you can see how price, how price found these floors and broke through those floors. It broke through the floor, acted as a ceiling, finally broke through that ceiling, come back to retest the floor and rally to the next floor. Do I think that price is going to break through this floor as well? Yes, you you bet you better believe it. I, absolutely. And I left this uh these markings on here for a good reason because you see this, you see that uh that green arrow. All right. Uh, a little while ago, I gave uh two weeks ago, I told you I told folks that this is going to be a great place to take along. All right, and uh, you know, price was here. I said if it comes back down, it's going to swing up and that's exactly what it did uh just want to point that out all right i was pointed out how perfectly uh this uh the uh the technicals were here and that i believe that uh we're going to see more of it we're just going to see more all right and uh we have a nice little pin bar up here right that looks like it may say oh price may want to go all the way down it's not going to go all the way down i i, I don't believe it will i believe 
that uh, this move here may be part of the uh, of correction and it will continue to correct as price goes into this fair value gap here. All right, I'm looking for that mark there, which is at 136. All right, looking at that mark, 136. If price gives us a break and close, this is why I love daily break and closes, all right, of candle bodies. If price gives us a candle body break and close above this line, all right, and this line is at, let's, let's highlight it, 134.40. We get a candle body break and close above that high, uh, above this line. I believe that price will continue on to the next one at 137.78. 13778. You understand? I hope that that that's clear because it's, it seems very clear to me. Now, we may see some short term uh, a short term pullback, but I don't think that pull I think that pullback pulls back right around uh 133 and then we we should see a uh, price punch through just like it did here. See how it took a minute to punch, pulls back and then punches through. All right, we'll come up here. We may dabble here for a minute. We may pull back and then we'll we'll likely to punch through this uh this double top here. Okay. Next. I like this one, by the way. Uh US dollar CAD, US dollar CAD. I talked about this one two weeks ago. All right, how price technically is, I mean, look, it, it's been trending up, trending up, trending up, trending up in its own channel, right? And then it finally we break through this uh mark this level I got marked I have marked here at uh 1.3300. You can see there's a lot of interaction at this level, right? As support, all right, as resistance, all right, as support, as resistance, all right. Price just pushes it back down, and then we fight through, we come back, it finds it as a floor once again, all right. So what are we, what am I looking at for this week? That's the question. Well, you see how prices kind of formed this wedge here. All right. Kind of formed. It's formed a pretty well-defined wedge. And this is the, this is the kind of, uh, of, of candlestick pattern that has to have an outcome. All right. It, there, it, it's, it's, there, it's terminal. All right. Meaning that it has to make a decision. Either it's going up or it's going to break out. It's going to break up or it's going to break down. One or the other, all right? In this instance, because price has been making higher highs and higher lows, uh, uh, you would think this as a uh, this would signal a bullish kind of pennant situation, all right? A bullish pennant, all right? And, uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, we, you know, you, you never know for sure. All right. So what am I looking at? What am I looking, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a bullish scenario of it as the outcome. You can see here, price has been used as uh, price. This level here, this level is at 1.35023, right? Uh, that's about it, right? 1.3500, uh, no, 1 all right? This level is a key level, and it's obvious. Use this support here, use this resistance here, resistance here, all right? Come back as support again, fight through it, boom, again as resistance, and here we are fighting resistance again. And another pin bar. You notice I've been using that pin bar a lot because that's the way Friday ended, all right? With pin bars all over the place, but you have to take the in. You, uh, with a grain of salt because it's a Friday pin bar. You have to be careful. I like to see pin bars at the top of rallies, right? You know, I like to see, I like I, that's where I want to see it. All right, those, uh, you know, we got a little rally here, right? And you can say, oh, it looks like, you know, we're, we're going to bust through. Not necessarily. We can come right back down here, test, and then pop through. We don't know. We don't know yet. But this is the deal. This is why I like daily candle body break and close if i get if we get i said i but if we get a candle body break and close above this level if the candle body and i, I should make sure you understand this 
Yeah, that's, that's not what I wanted you to understand. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get there. You go. All right. Say this is the candle body. Let me make it nice and dark. All right. If we, that, is that the candle body? I need that candle body to break and close above this high. I need the candle body to break and close to, to close above that Friday high. All right. We get a candle body breaking close, then we're coming up here. Come on, man. We're coming up here to these, to this level. All right, that's around 1.37. You understand? We go from one to the next, all right? From this floor to this ceiling, all right? And we'll probably tap around there until we finally break through there, all right? I, I wanna recognize that we have a high here and this is a failed attempt to make that high higher all right all right but you know when i see this i'm looking at this at this low all right i'm saying mm, we might get oh, this might get attacked it might get liquidated it did not it held it held here so far so as i'm watching this i'm looking for price to continue holding if price continues the if this holds here all right then this high is going to be liquidated you understand? We're still within the trading range, this trading range, all right? We haven't gone higher, we haven't gone lower. So, you know, this is this is the one that you wanna react to. This is the one that you wanna react to. Look for that candle body break and close. That's a good signal in my opinion, all right? So I'm looking for that candle body break and close above, all right? If I don't get that candle body break and close above, all right, I'm going to be looking for these lows. There's a demand zone here that is holding, that is hold price, and we see the rally from it. All right, so uh, uh, look for price to pull back a little bit. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for price to, come on, man. I'm looking for price to pull back a little bit, dibble dabble, and then come up. All right, we may see price come back right around here. So we'll see. 15 minute break, uh, 15 minute uh, confirmation. All right, after a candle body break and close, shoot, I'm looking for that pullback and then up. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know about you, but that's what I'm looking for. Let's look at AUD USD. AUD USD. Hmm. I like this one. All right. Now you can see on AUD USD that uh price gave us a nice inverted head and shoulders here. Right. And it played out lovely, took that high and mitigated this weekly uh, 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 supply zone, all right? And what did it do? It reacted. This is very similar to what we saw on uh, Euro USD, if I remember correctly, all right? And uh, uh, it did what it, it was supposed to do. Now, what do we have here? Kind of, it looks like a head and shoulders, right? We have a uh, a neckline, so uh, uh, price uh, pushed back up to make a new high, failed to do so, right? Unlike when it did it here. So I like this as a neckline. I like this as a, a left head and right shoulder. I do. All right, and um, this is on a daily. All right, so it makes it easy for me if I see a candle body. Breaking close. If I see that breaking close below the neckline. All right. I'm continue. I'm going to look for uh, bearishness to continue. All right. We are reacting to this demand zone. If the FOMC comes Wednesday, if the, the the thing, if we see strength come to the U.S. dollar, this is going to continue bearishly, and I believe we're going to take this uh this uh, uh demand zone out. Okay. Now. What if things go the other way? What if we see weakness come to the U.S. dollar? All right, it's going up, obviously. All right, and you can see the wicks from here. All right, and the reaction to this demand zone at this level where we found uh, uh, resistance here, and then support here, support here, support here. We couldn't get a candle body breaking close just yet. We might not see one until Wednesday. All right, I'm I'm telling you, we may go, go up here, find uh, this supply, and then come crashing, and then come crashing through that. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bearish uh, scenario. 
I'm looking for more bearishness in this market as U.S. dollar is stronger than the U.S. Uh, than the uh, Aussie dollar. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, it's it, they're both kind of almost neutral, almost bearish neutral. <laughs> to be honest with you, but uh, the U.S. dollar has uh, some some reason fundamentally to outperform the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar is a commodities based. Uh, uh, currency. And if we go to risk on, yes, the Aussie dollar is going to go up. If we go to risk on, come uh, FOMC. But if we do not look for more bearishness to, you know, to look for the US dollar and take this down, continue this bearish move. You see that impulsive move here and this correction? And then we have a close right at the neckline. Uh, uh, I'm looking for a price to continue long. I hope that makes sense. All right. Just Let's be careful to wait and see with the U.S. dollar. Let's go to New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar, all right? Royal Bank of uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand has a um, uh, uh, has a uh, has a decision to make. I if I if I remember correctly, uh, and that should happen Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, in either case. All right, it's up against the U.S. dollar, and you can see the same thing happened here. We have a rally into this weekly and daily uh, uh, supply zone. All right, you can see that it's been making lower highs and lower lows for a minute. All right, it did make a lower low here, and then come come back up, trying to make a new higher high. It has failed to do so up to this point. And we are in a demand zone, just like the, uh, very similar to the uh, New Z uh, Aussie dollar. Uh, we are, but the New Zealand dollar is further into this, this demand zone, all right? Again, this is a demand zone from the daily. This is a daily demand zone up against a weekly supply zone, all right? This will probably, outweigh this demand zone, this is a daily demand zone and continue bearishly, all right? And you can see how far we are into it. We are, in, we are past, we are right at the midpoint of this uh, demand zone. And you see this line here, right? Why do I have that line here? You know why I put that line there? Because it's acting as a floor, all right? It's acting as a ceiling here, all right? You see the interaction of price here. Once we get below it, we come back and we test it get past it, we test it, you understand? This is a, a, a key level. I like to illustrate my key levels, all right? I'm not a supply, I'm not a, what do you call a, a support and resistance trader, all right? But I like those key levels because you the, these are things that uh, you see price reacting to it and you say, well, let me make a note of it, all right? <laughs> this is it. So if we get a candle body, break and close, below this low, all right, where we have equal lows here. You see this here, right? You can see that I have highlighted that there are equal lows there. And this is a magnet to price. Low here, low here, that's an equal low there. And uh, if that's the case, when that's the case, that's a good draw on price. And I believe that price will draw it down to sweep that low. And where where, where could this end up, all right? Uh, look for the last inefficiency of price. And when I mean inefficiency, price uh, comes back when it makes a gap, it, it trades back into that gap to fill it and then continue higher, all right? Comes back, whatever, all right? And here we have an inefficiency, okay? And price hasn't traded back into that inefficiency as of yet. So I'm looking for price to come down right around six, 6,000, all right? Now, uh, there is uh, some demand here and I wanna be careful of that, all right? Uh, but uh, if price does move back up, I'm looking for this to act as a ceiling because it was once a floor, all right? And we are in this demand zone. If price uh, does get past this with a candle body break and close, I'm looking for it to maybe come up to the uh, fair value gap here. All right, and then come back down. Okay, but right now, right now, 
I'm looking for that candle body breaking close, the daily closure below that low. All right. If we get a candle, if we get a, a daily closure above this high, and we're back in this consolidation, then uh, you know, we'll reassess. But I believe that uh we may come back up into this fair value gap. And the price does come back up with fair value gap. This will be a better price. This will be a better a better short to take. And I would look for a 15 minute confirmation. Let's go to the next one. All right, that's it for the uh, uh, FX pairs. We're going to specs, all right? Uh, that is the S&P 500. I'm gonna make quick work of this. It, it's kind of indecisive, all right? You see how it's been moving for the last couple of weeks? All right, Can't, comes up into this uh, daily uh, zone of supply, all right? Reacts to it, reacts nicely to it, actually. All right, and uh, uh, prices, this this zone has held price here, all right? If we go to the, uh, uh, you can see that there's a demand zone right below it, all right? That's holding, all right? But look at this key level, this key level, and the key level is at four, Zero nine zero point five eight. All right, that's where the key level is. You can see that price. You know, use it as a floor, use it as a ceiling. All right, and this is where we're playing with right now. All right, price didn't make a new high last week. It could not get past that high, but what the way the week closed was below this key level. All right, so why? What am I looking for? I'm looking for that key level to act as a ceiling once again, all right? And uh, if price has a problem getting past it with a candle body break and close, all right, I'm thinking it's going down at least to this uh, trend line. You see the trend line has held here, here, and I'm looking for it to touch down somewhere around this area, okay? So, I think there's more uh, risk off coming. We'll see how the FOMC uh, uh, determines that. But uh, if the, we find weakness in the uh, US dollar, if we find weakness in it, then it's gonna be risk on. And we'll be looking to take that high out, look for that candle body break and close above these highs here. All right, and I mean, this is at the mitigation of this, this zone. If we get back up to this zone, and we sweep that high, I'm thinking that uh, this is a consolidative uh, formation here, and we may see the manipulation of the highs and lows, all right? So uh, with that being said, if I see a candle body break and close, I'm thinking that we're coming back down here, and we're going to ride it down to here, all right? Uh, uh, that would be uh, 38,750, all right? Uh, this is going to be an interesting ride. There's another area right here. I'm sorry. I should have pointed this out. There's a demand zone here. All right. And we can find a uh, price may find support there. All right. This would be perfect. Look at that. Uh, I, want you, I want to make sure I highlight that area. All right. Uh, let's see. Where did I find it? Here. All right. I want to make sure this is on, on the map. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Can I try that again? <laughs> I'm just trying to mark the uh, doggone. Uh... <laughs> what is going on? All right, there you go. All right, so that looks ridiculous. All right, so I'm looking for a price to come down here. If we get a candle body break and close, uh, especially if we're attacking this uh, demand zone. This demand zone has taken two taps already, but it it has not produced a new high. So uh, with the, with this close below the uh, key level, I'm looking for price to head down. All right, we're gonna stop here first, and then this will be the next step. Okay, let's go to the, uh, gold. All right, now gold, I made a couple of notations here. Two weeks ago, uh, I said this was this is a, a, a weekly supply chain. All right, it was a weekly uh, supply here, and then price comes up into it and forms another 
weekly supply and price came right back into it. Traded all the way down and then came back into it and reacted the way it was supposed to react very bearishly. Look at that. That was a very impulsive move. And I said, you see that green arrow here? Let's take a closer look. I said, price, uh, expecting price to move up and then come back down. All right. You see what it, uh, it did come up. Bullish candle, bullish candle, bullish candle. And then the wick all the way high, sweeping the, these highs. And then it fell. Now, it didn't come up to this red line. All right. It didn't come up and test these lows like I was hoping it would, would give me a great uh, price, but it did form the uh, setup for the uh, short here, all right, with a bearish engulfer, and then uh, the retest of the uh, the low uh, preceding it, you know, part of the, uh, the the low of the base candle, all right, and this was the low, this was the, uh, the entry for the short to take, all right, so uh, uh, I got the uh, general direction right, I just wish you know, it, if it would have came up a little higher, it would have been a perf more perfect entry. But you look for your 15-minute confirmations when you see them, all right? That bearish and gopher, you wait until price comes back up into that bearish and gopher and then shoots down, all right? But how did the week end? It, we, it, it ended in a pin bar again, all right? We come, come down to the low. We didn't get a candle body breaking close below that low, all right? But I believe that that candle body breaking close is coming. So this week, let me get rid of this. This week, let me get rid of this. All right. This week, do I think price is coming all the way up? Is it, there's a possibility because it has not been tested yet. There is a possibility that that could happen. All right. H highly likely. I don't know about all of that, uh, honestly speaking. If the US dollar turns uh, weak, if it's weakened, of course, then I believe that price will continue up higher, pull back right around here and then take these highs out, all right? I believe that is definitely a good look because this is the impulse. I'm looking for that correction. Once it corrects, I will take that uh, take that uh, uh, entry, that bullish entry, and uh, shoot it all the way up, okay? However, if the US dollar starts to break down, I'm looking for that candle body breaking close below that low. Once it takes out, demand once it's taking out demand i'm looking for it to come back up into that flip area yeah you, can you see the flip zone i hope you can this is a flip zone folks a, a demand to supply flip all right where you see the reaction to demand it comes up comes up comes up and once it finally gets a break and close below that low, I'm looking for price to, uh, <laughs> why would you do that to me right now? I'm looking for a uh, price to uh, come down, give me that break, break and close below and pull back to that, to the demands, of, to the uh, supply zone that's uh, uh, anywhere around here. And I'm looking for it to give me my 15 minute confirmation for a, 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 a a uh, setup, a sell setup to enter for a sell. Okay, that's it. That's hold on, hold on. That is the idea. All right. So I gave you both sides, a bullish and a, a bearish side. We have to react to this because there's going to be news. FOMC. You don't want to just jump in on buys right now because you see a pin bar here. All right. I'm telling you, Friday. Uh, sign signals like this can be a little, little crazy. All right, uh, sometimes it, it, it's not reliable. So, uh, if you're going to take a buy, be careful. That's all. Have your stop loss at a safe place, and and uh, be uh, measure your uh, TP, your your take profits. I would take my profits right here as soon as it enters into that supply zone. I'm not, I'm not looking for it to uh, hit that high. I'm not, all right? Each one of these sweat, each one of those candles sweat the previous candle, all right? And uh, shot down. I'm looking for price to come back up and that would be a great entry for in short. Now, look for the candle body breaking close, a daily 
candle body breaking clothes is going to give me all I need, all the information that I need. I'm not really interested in buys. I'm looking more for sales because I believe, like I have this eye here, I'm looking at this this uh, key level for price to come down to. That's the one I was looking for like two weeks ago. All right. And it's making its way down. All right. And I believe you can see how the interactions of price at this level. All right. I'm looking for a price to come on down there and do its thing. Let's move on. Uh, silver, si similar situation. All right. I'll make this one quick. You can see the impulsive move to the downside. I like that word impulsive, right? Impulsive move. Very hard. And then uh, price comes back here, right? uh for uh, to consolidate a little bit and then we have a candle body break and close below this low all right so what am i looking for aha we got that pin bar right at this demand zone all right this is a price traded into demand just look over here to the left you can see that uh that uh, uh what do you call it? institutional candle all right we can't make candles like this uh, as far as retail traders are concerned we we don't make those Institutions do. That's billions and billions of dollars. Okay. All right. So there are buyers at this level and price traded right into it. We could find ourselves rallying up to this supply zone, which is at a flip zone again. And if we, you see how price is already traded with that candle back into that flip zone once already. All right. Price traded into the range of price of that candle, that base candle. We've already traded into it and then had this bearish reaction to it. So price doesn't have to go all the way back up here, but it just so happens to be at the weekly major breakout level. This is a key level. Look, boom, 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 all right? Support, support. It gets over here, support, gets below it, we test as a resistance, then gets back above it again as support. All right, this this level is important. All right, you can see it, it, it's all the way down. Okay, it's it's been that way for a while. That's a key level, folks. All right, right at a flip zone. So I'm looking for price to come back up here. All right, if price does come back up in here, I'm looking to take a very nice short here. Can you take a buy from here? Sure, you can. All right. Again, like I said before, make sure they're dead trades. They're day trades. They are day trades. And you're taking them at 15 minute and below. All right. And you're going to make sure you TP here. All right. Can price uh, come past these highs? Of course they can. All right. If it comes past those highs with a candle body breaking close on a daily basis, on a daily candle, a daily candle breaking close. All right. Look for it to come up here. All right. All right. But until that happens, I'm looking for a 15 minute confirmation here because this is the major breakout. This is the major breakout. Why is it doing that? I'm looking for the major breakout area there. All right. I'm not really having this is user user problems, not uh, technical problems. It's user problems. All right. So we have this uh, demand zone here. I'm going to see if price. Uh, can come up here and then I will be targeting this low for a TP if I can get in short. I hope you uh, find that useful. All right, we're, we're at uh, oil, U.S. crude, all right, W-T-I crude, all right. I want you to see we have another key level here as support, all right? Two times, two times of support. Comes back up resistance and then we have our floor again comes back up boom we have a new ceiling again all right ceiling ceiling all right you understand how these key levels can be can be important all right but what you, what what I want you to see here is that we have we have the highs of a range and the lows of a range, right? And again, you want to take, you want to, you want to sell from the highs and you want to buy from the lows, right? That's how you play your range, right? If that's the kind of trading that you do, okay. But what I want, or what I recognize here is this high 
was not overtaken from this low, right? And then we finally take that low, but we're still within this range. This is the high of the range. This is the low of the range. We are dibble dabbling in, in the middle, all right? All right, we are in within the high and the low. Until price breaks this high, I'm not bullish. Until price breaks that low, I'm not bearish, okay? We're moving sideways, folks. I want you to be careful with these kind of markets. Now, price did come down, did sweep this high with this high, right? Did sweep this low with that low. What does that mean? We still haven't broken this high and that low, right? This was the reaction to the last time we've mitigated this demand zone and it's weak. It is weak. I think that price will, it, 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 when I say weak, it, it failed to make a new high. All right, that means it's a weak low, all right? And I think there's a high probability that price will come back and take that low, all right? And to add, to add to that, it is uh, also trading back into mitigating this demand zone here that I have illustrated right here, all right? It is, it, which has already been traded into once, twice already. I think this time we're gonna penetrate to the midpoint at the very least, and maybe even take that low, all right? At 7309. Right now I'm looking at 7200 is, uh, uh, where price will probably take uh, take price, all right? Because this, as a demand zone, did not make a new high. So I believe this low is probably going to get taken. At the very at the very least, I think we're going to hit this this at seventy three one thirty one thirty, uh, uh, which is the the top of this demand zone. Okay, that's why I have that little arrow here. All right, so you could take this short, but I would wait until price gives me my setup. Wait until a 15 minute confirmation right, right around these lows here and then take your short. I think that's a, a pretty aggressive uh, short to take, but I am looking for a candle body break and close. All right, I'm looking for confirmations first. All right, I want to see oil go higher. I wanna see oil go higher and I think that uh, that time may happen either here or if we mitigate down here, all right? I think that time for a long in oil is, is, is going, to, going to come. And uh, uh, I think it's soon. Take this, uh, get in the short down to 72,000 72, is what I'm going to do, all right? You can do whatever you want, of course. All right, because it's your world. All right, but I, I like, I like, I would like to wait until price gives me a pullback, and then I can take this short. All right, being that this short is already uh, short, already uh, started. All right, and uh, I wait for a buy setup to form. All right, if price continues lower past here, that's fine. But I'm waiting for a buy setup to form because I believe that's what's coming. All right. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some information out of it. I need to hear your comments. If you want to make a comment, you know I'm going to uh, uh, respond back to you. All right. I respond to all the comments in the comment section. All right. This is a long video because I went over a bunch of a uh, bunch of markets, but I hope I wasn't too long winded with each market. If I did, leave a comment saying that you know you could shorten it up a little bit. You know that's fine. All right. Um, uh, and I and I'll work on that. Um, also, uh, 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 if you want to see another market covered, uh, leave a, a comment to let me know that you want to uh, uh, you want to see uh, you know what's going on with the FTSE or whatever it is, whatever other market you might want to take a look at, because it's all about structure. I look at structure first. I look at structure. I look at the technicals before I look at the fundamentals. That's the way I do it. Okay. Um, thank you for spending your time on Sunday with me, and I will see you in the next video. May profits be upon you. Have a great week, and thank you for watching.